This is Kung Pa Pao, but with the juiciest chicken thighs instead of the more traditional pork belly. These are addictively sweet and savory braised meat in a Chinese style fold over a manto bun, basically Chinese burgers, okay? And they're so good and surprisingly easy to make. So let's go! I have here a boneless chicken thighs cut into 4 to 5 centimeter widths just like this. You want the chicken skin on a full fat. This is no health dish so bring on the fat okay. I have about 8 pieces of chicken here. Now this step is optional but I like to coat the chicken pieces first with some dark soy sauce. This is really going to help in the caramelization later on but it's optional. You can get an amazingly good color even if you skip this step. Toss the sauce through the chicken and let that evenly coat. Kong bak means braised meat so let's get to braising. To a pot add some oil and let it get hot. Once hot and over low heat, add some chopped onions. Whole garlic, lightly mash it to release the flavors. And some ginger, slice them into big chunks like this. Then we are also going to add some gorgeous spices. This is a cinnamon stick, some star anise, as well as some cloves. Saute all of the ingredients together until it starts to get fragrant. Once fragrant, add the chicken thighs. Give it a quick stir to combine with the aromatics and then turn the heat up to a medium and let the chicken thighs sear. We're not trying to cook it, we are just trying to get a sear and some caramelization happening on the surface. Just spread it evenly in the pan and let it sear on one side before flipping over to the other side. Once your chicken is not pink anymore and you see some caramelization happening, so some parts of your chicken looks kinda burnt, go ahead and add the rest of the dark soy sauce. So you would realize that this is a lot of dark soy sauce. So dark soy sauce is an important ingredient in this dish to give it that signature gorgeous dark color. Next, some light soy sauce for some salt. And this is Chinese 5 spice powder. This is going to add even more flavor to the dish but you can skip this if you don't have this on hand. Some ground white pepper. Now this next step is totally optional and definitely not traditional. I'm adding a couple of bird's eye chilies, a lightly mashed and inserted whole like this. You know how much I love things with a bit of a spice kick. And finally a dash of salt which is going to help bring all of the flavors to life. Give this a quick stir and you want to scrape the bottom of your pot to get any of the caramelized bits mixed in with the sauce because that's all flavor boo. And then add in water. You can also use stock if you have that on hand. That would definitely level up the dish even more. And finally, this is rock sugar, which funnily enough is not as sweet as regular granulated sugar and this is going to slowly melt while we braise. You can just use regular sugar if you don't have this instead. It tastes the absolute same, just use less sugar. Give everything a stir to incorporate and then let this come to a boil. Once it comes to a bubbly boil just like this, turn the heat down so that it gently simmers and let this braise for about 20 minutes or so or just until the chicken is cooked all the way through. And when you come back, this is what it is going to look like. Your chicken should be cooked through and look at how beautiful the color is on it. And your braised chicken or kong pa is done. Scoop out the chicken pieces and that is our chicken kong bak or braised meat. You see this delicious soupy sauce with yummy concentrated flavors? Don't throw this away, we're going to be making a delicious gravy with this. So you can either strain the soup to remove all of the aromatics or just do what I do and scoop out the amount you need into a separate pan. You won't need as much so I'm ladling out about 2 cups worth of the sauce. Now set the pan with the soup over the stove and give it a taste test first. 
I'm actually adding a bit more salt to mine. And next, get some cornstarch slurry ready. Just mix some cornstarch or corn flour with some water to create the slurry. Gradually add the cornstarch slurry and stir until you get a super thick gorgeous sauce. For my 2 cups of soup, I needed a slurry of 3 tablespoons of cornstarch with some water to get a nice thick gravy just like this. This is good. This is perfect. Okay, assembly time. These are fold over manto buns, also known as lotus leaf buns. I can get them ready made easily from the supermarket. I just have to steam them. Of course, our braised chicken kung bak pieces. You are also going to need some lettuce leaves, as well as some stalks of coriander or parsley. And of course, we can't forget that gorgeous thick gravy that we made in the end. Okay, so grab your bun and open it up like this and then lay on the lettuce first. And then grab a piece of chicken and dunk it in the gravy to coat. This is so satisfying. And then place that on top of the lettuce on the bun. Garnish with some stalks of the coriander and your kung pak pao is ready. The lettuce and coriander are crucial for a good kong bak pao, okay? The fresh greens really help to balance everything out and especially cut the fattiness of the chicken thighs. If I weren't filming this, you won't even be able to see the chicken in my kong bak pao, okay? It will look more like this and I'm not even sorry about it. I just love veggies. Ah. And that's chicken kong bak pao. Unbelievably easy and addictively moorish little buns of happiness. So make sure you give this a go and bye! If you love this chicken kong bak pao recipe, you might like these other recipes too. So click on any now.